It's summertime in Turtle Island, so you know what that means. It's powwow season. But what is a powwow? They're social gatherings where everyone's invited to dance, sing, and celebrate indigenous culture. There are two types of powwows, traditional and competition. Traditional powwows are usually smaller. They have teachings, ceremonies, and a feast. People from all over the country take part in competition powwows. Top cash prizes are given to the best dancers, drummers, and drum groups. They typically follow the powwow trail and attend as many powwows as they can throughout the summer. Dances and songs differ depending on the powwow's location, and each dance style and song has a different meaning. Fancy shawl dancers mimic butterflies emerging from a cocoon. Grass dancers come in first. The grass dance is a beautiful dance that represents the people that went first. Jingle dancers are the healers and pray for those in need. Um, the jingle dress dance is a healing dance that originates from the Anishinaabe people. Men's traditional tell stories of battles or hunts, while women's traditional move their feet slowly to massage the earth. Dancers work on their attire, called regalia, all year round. They're commonly adorned with elaborate beadwork and eagle feathers on soft leather or fabric applique. These are considered ceremonial, and it is impolite to touch them without permission. Photos are generally permitted, but it is polite to ask permission first. Most dancers will be happy to strike a pose. There are also art and food vendors at powwows. Get your mocks on, get your braids tight, and I'll see you at the powwow trail. Updigital meal. See you later.